Hello, folks. Uh, two things I want to mention. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about, thank the Lord, we are supposed to be signing the final contract for the new apartment. And I, of course, you really don't know till you're in somewhere you know, 24 hours of the day how it's going to be. But everybody keeps assuring me that it's nice. And for Colombian standards, it's a very, very nice place. Uh, I know that we won't have to put up with a constant barrage of noise and chaos and crazy that we're putting up with here. So, uh Every other place that we've lived with, when my wife has went on and got like contracted in another city with the schools, uh, it's always been a nice place that we've been able to get. And this was the first place we didn't. Uh, we were six or eight hours away from here. So I was just tired of traveling because Joe and I had not long since been to the United States and back and uh, I'm getting old folks so I'm getting tired a lot easier nothing's, I don't think nothing's really wrong with me other than the issues that I have but age is creeping in a little bit now and I get tired more easy and especially when I'm traveling just wears me down and wears me out uh, we're still going to have to go and get the Mercedes from Bogota and get it brought back. Uh, good area. The car will be uh, inside and protected, so that's a good thing. Uh, but this place looks really, really great. If I can get all the equipment set up there, uh, there's a supposedly a good gym uh, near there. I haven't been inside yet, haven't talked to the owner or whoever's managing the place or whatnot, but uh, hopefully we'll get some good, some, some I don't know what to say good, but some sparring in for Joe because he's looking to go full blast with men right now because there's no teenagers that can handle him and he's just having to get in and just to hold back 50, 60, 70 percent of what he can do. So, off of that, uh, well, one more statement we're thankful to the good Lord. Nothing's final till that contract is signed this afternoon. Uh, I'm anticipating, a, I had to twist their arm to get us to be able to get in there on the 31st and uh, guess she went and talked to the owner of the real estate company and they said oh yeah work it out for him so they did she kept telling us no I don't respond well to no and I'll keep pushing at somebody till I get a compromise or something but she came back and said oh yeah just pay for the 31st or whatever and just go ahead and move in so hopefully day after tomorrow I'll have a moving truck out here and we will be out of here. And we can get back to a normal or a life of normalcy compared to what this hell holds me in. Uh, my buddy Kirk, I want to tell you something. I see all the technical soundness in you. I know you suffered a a loss. Uh, it's amateur boxing. You, <laughs> uh, you got way more wins than losses. Uh, just keep moving forward. Losses are 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 made for the amateurs because you you can pick up on what you're doing wrong and you're fighting a lot. So don't worry about it. Don't take no sweat to it. Uh, just look at if you if you've got any film of it, you go back and you look at yourself, try to correct, 
course, if you put anything up, I'll give my two cents. You got the best trainer that money could even buy, even though you don't have to buy him. Uh, so you, you got a lot of advantages here. Don't let none of this get you down. I'm telling you, son, I'm old enough to be your trainer's daddy. Uh, yeah, and ha could have had him as a well into adulthood, as a getting. A, I'd be considered an old dad with him probably, and I I know he's not a uh, a kid, but uh, you got the best trainer that you could possibly have. Great people around you, great people with you, great team. Uh, so don't let this loss get you down. Uh, keep moving forward. Everything technical you're doing, a tremendous job, young man. A tremendous job. I just want to tell you, work and focus on building your strength and your punching power. Uh, get with Dorian. Come up with ways and little tweaks to your punching. Uh, that maybe you just move a little. Maybe it's something as simple as a little bit of shoulder drop, uh, like Tim Witherspoon that created all those right overhands or right cross knockouts. Uh, just tweak a little bit, do what you have to do. Keep going with the calisthenics. And now here goes our dog right raising cane right now but uh, keep building strength in the body uh, you, you're going to gain weight so if you are desperately holding yourself down to 125 I would it's just my advice uh, I would consider gaining a little weight ain't going to hurt you at all and when you gain the weight you'll gain the strength so, uh, I've got to go right now, but uh, life, go, life is calling, and I'll talk, talk to you all real soon. God bless you, Kurt. We love you. Good job. And everybody else, may the good Lord bless you.